Eyewitness News exclusive. We've uncovered another medical mistake at Rhode Island Hospital. A piece of surgical equipment was accidentally left inside a patient for two days. It's a story you'll see only on 12. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is live in the capital city. Well, Karen, neither the hospital nor the Rhode Island Department of Health will identify the physician or the operating room staff involved because an investigation is underway. However, this incident is, a la is the latest in a series of problems involving operations at Rhode Island Hospital. Eyewitness News has learned a piece of drill bit broke off during an operation here at Rhode Island Hospital August 4th. The hospital says the drill bit was left in the patient's body for two days before it was discovered by diagnostic imaging and removed. Following the error, the physician and operating room staff were suspended. In a statement, the hospital says the drill bit, quote, was not accounted for at the end of the procedure as is required by one of our policies. The hospital will not say how many people were involved, but says appropriate disciplinary action was taken following a meeting with hospital brass, including the CEO. It's not the first problem for the hospital recently. The Department of Health fined Rhode Island Hospital an unprecedented $150,000 after a doctor operated on the wrong finger of a patient in October of 2009. It was the hospital's fifth wrong site surgery since January of 2007. After its fifth wrong site surgery, the hospital was ordered to install cameras in operating rooms and retrain surgery staff. In the latest incident, the hospital says it apologized to the patient who was released the same day. The health department says it will decide on any action against Rhode Island Hospital once its investigation is completed. We're live with another Eyewitness News exclusive tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.